Hello guys and welcome to another fantastic Alpha Speed video. Today we're at the PRI and we're going to show you what is Rust EFI and the Alpha X, Alpha ECU, how they're both related, all the interesting things that we're working on and uh, let's go here to the table first. So here you can see a BMW iDrive controller that uh, it's talking through CAN to the ECU which is a sister of the Alpha ECU and this ECU controls this 2020 Mustang throttle body. The, you can move the little circle on the iDrive unit and that tells the ECU what position you want on your throttle and then you can press the button and it changes the response rate of the throttle body. And if we go to the other side, we can see the RX-8 dashboard which is talking through CAN to the main ECU. There's also a Mini Cooper dashboard and the GDI control system and the GDI injector. And here's the trigger wheel. You can spin it around and you can see it. They both read RPMs and it fires the GDI injector. So now we're going to talk with the creator of this software, who is called Mr. Andre. I wanted to ask you, what is Rust EFI and why is it open source? Because open source projects in the ECU community are pretty rare to see. It, is a, it started as a hobby project because I realized that the things I saw, they were just not good. I am a very qualified software developer and as a software developer, I was not impressed with what I saw 10 years ago. And then I realized that STM, those ARM chips are so amazing and I realized that something way better could be built. And we actually build a way better thing. At the moment, Rust CFI is extremely advanced. Being open source is a major advantage. Yeah. I got the contributors of such a caliber, I could not believe I would ever see them. There's a guy who has a Wikipedia page about him. Okay. I googled him, I said, like, that's probably somebody with, his na with your name. He <laughs> was, no, that's me. It's just me. There's a Wikipedia page about me. Okay. And people come, sometimes they then disappear, but before they disappear, they do amazing stuff. Other, uh, all, all little contributions are building blocks to make a better and exactly. a better Exactly, like my job is to just be around over the years and to integrate those pieces, because it's one amazing engineer who did the fuel pump control, the high pressure fuel pump control, and it's another amazing engineer who did the injector control. And I made it to work together, and I tested on the real vehicle without Scott, Without Chris, it wouldn't happen. Without and Matthew, without David, without Jared, without Nick. All each these... of those people, they contributed something amazing. And I'm just gluing those pieces together. And it's, it's a combination of amazing, which is the most advanced open source that's, ECU. Out that's... of like five, six. That's the beauty of open source, that everyone can contribute, maybe something that they're specified in, they can, they can contribute what they want, and then you can make sure it works, and then that just yep. keeps get, yep. getting yep. built upon. We have the process, like we have the testing process, it's very mature, we have multiple layers of continuous integration, like I know how to build software, I know how to accept changes versus not accept changes, we have the standards. We have amazing people who follow the standards and it all clicks together. It's yeah. really just a combination of those pieces. Yeah. And you said that Rust CFI is the most advanced open source project. Correct. Why, why is it the most advanced? Why is it the most advanced? Because the people are amazing. But technologically, the consequence is CAN bus. Very few people can do the CAN bus. CAN bus with Lua integration. It's just the level of flexibility very few commercial ECUs have. Yeah. I can name one <laughs> extremely expensive commercial ECU where you can get this level of flexibility if you are an authorized dealer. In our case, everyone can have this extreme level of integration. If you feel like you are the, the level needed to write your own code. You can download it, write your own right. stuff in Lua and, and test and it And if out. you use Lua or you use C++, different applications, you would use a different language. Yeah. C++ is the full-blown development life cycle that's you're contributing something fundamental, uh -huh. but something very niche, very custom just for you. 
you're not contributing to the community, you're just using Lua as the interpreter, it's a one-time thing. There's no reason for that thing to be in the code base. There's no yeah. reason for that thing to be compiled. And, and if you believe that it should be in the code base, you can then publish let us it, know. Exactly. talk to the developers, exactly. and then get that added into the There's code There's a base. library of the examples. We can build the UI later on for the, the real stuff, but Lua is a game changer. CAN bus, yeah, it's just a must have. Without a CAN bus, I don't think you only see you. Yeah. Without electronic file body, I mean, respectfully, it's 2022. It's yeah. like we're three weeks away from and, 2023. And, and, and cars have been using electronic file bodies for 20 years now. 22 years? Yeah. You don't have drive by wire. You are stuck in the 2000s, I mean. Maybe uh, even earlier. And we're trying to go forward. I mean, throttle body was 20 years ago. Five years ago is now sent. Mm -hmm. That used to be a six uh, sensor uh, throttle body because two wires were analog. Yeah. Now it's a five wire thing because now it's a digital throttle body. Yep. We support both the legacy analog throttle bodies and the new, and the new digital stuff. Yeah. We're starting to play with GDI. Again, I know there's an open source from Australia. He showed us a lot with GDI, but we've integrated it with everything else. The sum of the pieces is now way bigger than all the pieces individually. Yes. So GDI, it's not ready. I haven't driven on the GDI yet. I, I need to figure out how I'll start driving. I need a manual test mule at the moment. Maybe if there's someone watching that has a GDI something and they feel confident enough to yes. test it out yes. and help yes. us out with the development. Yes. That's, that's the last so. frontier at the moment. That's the next frontier at the moment. Yeah. We need a GDI test mule, probably manual. Yeah. If you're in northern New Jersey and you have a manual Jetta, definitely let or me know. Or if you're into programming, you know C++, and you yes. somehow have a GDI car that you want to try all this stuff yep, out, yep. you can also get yeah, one. Yeah, like some people have stopped by with diesel. Maybe we'll go into diesel one day. Apparently, that's a very open niche. Think yeah. about like, think about the million dollar you'll make with diesel. Yeah. Uh, my, no, <laughs> I don't like diesel. I like spark plugs. Spark plugs are okay, nice. Okay, nice. So, yeah, I think, is there anything else you want to tell us about Rust EFI? Where do we find you? All that You cool find stuff. it online. It's rustyfi.com. You find it on AlphaX because it's the heart of them too. Yeah, it's the heart of AlphaX, obviously. AlphaX <laughs> is the way to go if you want a nice human to talk to. He's a nice human to you talk to. You want to talk to a nice human, it's AlphaX. <laughs> it's rustyfi inside, but you don't really need to know what's inside. Yeah, if Alpha you just X want... is a nicely packaged product, while rustyfi is, it's, it's harder. It's, it's a, really Rust CFI is mostly a tool set that you can Rust use. Rust CFI to... is the framework, exactly. Yeah, Rust CFI is the way to build an ECU. We're trying to build those plug-in ECUs. Miata offering by Beer Money is amazing. At the moment, I've been told Beer Money offering for Miata is just the best. Okay. We've got the best idol in the business. Uh, the case is amazing. I am hoping that people would come and we would replicate this Miata Beer Money success with another platform. 350, GM, BMW, you, you tell me. So, yeah, well, thank you for talking to us, Andre. Thank Muchas you for letting gracias. us know. Yeah. He knows the Spanish, no. but he's not telling anyone. <laughs> no, no hablo español. Por qué? Por qué? Por qué? Por qué? So. Donde? A donde? Now you've seen about the Rust EFI project, uh, great open source project if you're interested. You can download Rust EFI off GitHub, you can have your own boards designed, you can design your own board or you can buy an Alpha X, Alpha ECU, write your own code, or if you need a base, uh, an ECU to do fuel injection, throttle control, variable valve control, all that nice stuff, you can buy an Alpha ECU and run our code that we already showed you where it came from, how it began, how it's all running and get your project sorted out. So thank you for watching and see you guys later.